in this video i want to show you my uh, repo this is uh, blazer source mangler uh, i did manage to uh, replace blazer uh, property field parameter method type and namespace names uh, what is purpose to do this uh, so as we know when we uh, visit any Blazor site, client side Blazor, we are downloading uh, DLLs. These DLLs can be uh, decompiled very easily and everyone can check uh, source code very easy. So my purpose was to make this a little bit harder. For this, uh, I did uh, this small uh, project. I am using uh, Mono Cecil and I am doing uh, um, uh, renaming of all this uh, stuff. This is enum names, parameter names, field names method names, type names, namespace names. Uh, we can uh, check how it works and then come back and see uh, source code in detail. So uh, this is my uh, Blazor application and I already did this process with this application. So if we check, here is uh, this Blazor uh, DLL, main DLL. I will download it now and try to decompile it. Okay, here is our DLL and using just the compile from Teleric, I will check source code as you see some namespace are uh, renamed some are not because if i rename this to blazer will not work uh, we have renamed some uh, types we have renamed some methods some properties uh, and so on so i guess uh, now it is more harder uh, to read code uh, i can't uh, rename properties because uh, because of some reason but uh, this can be avoided and also property names can be renamed okay so it is now more ugly let's say this is uh, components i can't rename components because uh, blazer is requiring they to be public and i don't uh, rename this because uh, i was playing uh, what uh, blazer will let me to do uh, if i did something it was uh, breaking so uh, for now i have only this but in the future maybe we can do more uh, but inside you see this is uh, methods renamed uh, starting with letter m and inside renamed parameters types Now it's, uh, I guess, more harder to, uh, for foreign eyes, it's harder to understand how it works. If we check uh, original without mangling, uh, it's like uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, almost perfect decompilation and uh, everyone can see uh, source code as it was written. I don't touch some uh, 
uh, specific uh, names, classes, because uh, they are necessary uh, for Blazor to work properly. Um, so, the main purpose is to uglify source and uh, to make it hard to read. Also, there is another uh, uh, purpose to make smaller download uh, downloaded DLLs, but to be honest, uh, this uh, process is not giving us too much uh, benefit in size reduction. Uh, so, but still, if it will be a few kilobytes, it's still a uh, win because uh, download size is, size is uh, very critical for Blazor. So uh, I am making shortening in code. They have uh, more larger uh, names, all these parameters, types, and so on. And the shortening is uh, giving us some uh, size reduction. So let's check uh, now how I do this. Now we can uh, process uh, several files together. I am uh, saying that this is a main uh, a Blazor application uh, DLL name because I process it differently. And uh, uh, I have a folder when, where I copy, uh, let's say, I copy published files. Uh, to this uh, folder. So I don't touch uh, common uh, DLLs. I was playing with them too. I was trying to make same process with uh, MS Core Lib. And here purpose was not to uglify, but uh, to reduce size. But uh, it was not working uh, after this process. Uh, Blazor was a stop, uh, stopping working. So I guess it needs more work to guess, to find. And uh, I think here we can uh, benefit some uh, size. Uh, so I, I am doing this process only with Blazor generated, Blazor specific uh, DLLs, which is in this case, this uh, Blazor libraries, Blazor application. This for we can process. Okay, I am copying uh, to this is input, and we have output where our uh, application will uh, write proceed files. So I'm running. It is very fast process because files are small. Uh, so we have now, you see, 164 size. Here we have 164. Uh, there is something wrong because, yes, because I have replaced in source. Let me open laser to do project. I will publish again because uh, I already replaced in bin directory uh, these files. So I will publish again. It is taking some time. Okay, we can check in this time what's going on here. This is based on uh, Mono Cecil, which is Nougat package to uh, work manipulate with some uh, .NET assemb uh, assemblies. I am uh, using this uh, only this uh, reference. 
and let's say how we rename enums let's say i am getting all types from this assembly we are loading this assembly getting uh, types and doing uh, just replacing i have here method which is giving me uh, unique and short uh, codes to apply uh, for these names so this is very simple very small uh, console application but i think it's doing interesting uh, interesting thing if you are you will ask why i do this i will answer why not well, what we do wrong nothing application is working without any problem and uh, it is smaller and this is more uh, secure if you want you can make more secure your code okay hopefully this will be okay now let's go and check these files i am taking one two three four run our application and now we can see difference 164 167 it is not big difference but still it's some difference yeah why not okay so now if i publish this we will get a mangled source and as we saw now if anyone wants to check our dll they will see like this this is all in the future uh, so here is this repo you can uh, contribute you can advise some ideas maybe this tool will improve and uh, will have some uh, really uh, use uh, meaning maybe not but i was just playing and was wondering what can i do with this mono cecil and blazer so if blazer team also will uh, try to help uh, we can do more here for example i can't uh, replace uh, property names now because uh, let's see Uh, in blazer uh, component based classes a render tree builder is uh, how to say binding to uh, properties uh, hard coded let's say if uh, we have some class and this some class has property abc this is hard coded so when i if i uh, rename these property names this abc will became let's say a this is remaining abc and blazer is not working sure i can do this uh, if i add logic and try hard i can also find this hard-coded uh, properties and replace them too but it will be better if a blazer team will do uh, not hard-coded a but some code a like this and in this case uh, mono cecil will be able to replace all this uh, using of uh, property names so there is a lot of uh, we can do if if it will be uh, if it will have sense and it is what i did in one two days so we can do more uh, it was everything what i wanted to share this is what i have for now 
I personally am happy with this result because I did something what I wanted to do. So let's summarize again. Uh, first purpose, this is uglifying, securing, uh, obfuscating, uh, obfuscation, which I tried for before today, before now, uh, they all break uh, blazer and blazer does not work after this op obfuscation because there are some specific blazer specific things uh, obfus obfuscator should know and uh, you avoid. So before we don't have better tool, maybe this will serve somehow this purpose. And the second purpose as mentioned, uh, is to make uh, DLLs smaller. So uh, this blazer uh, DLLs are small, but if we manage and do uh, same with, uh, let's say, MS Core Lib, here we can, if we uh, want for uh, Blazor to do some three kilobyte, here we can win maybe 100 kilobyte or more. So I think it's interesting area and uh, here we can uh, have some improvements. So here is repo. If anyone will be interested, you can check, you can improve and achieve better results than me. Thank you very much and happy coding with Blazor.